The American Red Cross touches people each and every day, whether it is helping during times of disaster, patients who need blood, teaching life-saving skills, or connecting a soldier halfway around the world with his family in Virginia. During times like these, people come together and show their true strength. Through the generosity of our donors and the commitment of our volunteers, the American Red Cross is down your street, across our country, and around the world. The American Red Cross is on call 24-7 to provide immediate care and comfort to those affected by disaster. In response to Superstorm Sandy, strangers came from hundreds of miles away to help. People throughout the world saw communities in need and responded with millions in contributions. The Red Cross delivered more than 17 million meals and 7 million relief items with the assistance of 17,000 volunteers. 500 of those volunteers came from Virginia. Point nine, medic nine, engine six, engine ten, engine three, structure fire at 37 Langston Boulevard. Every nine minutes, the Red Cross is helping a single family face the trauma of an everyday disaster like a house fire by providing lodging and everyday necessities. My name is Leanne Rutledge. I am an AmeriCorps member at the American Red Cross. And it is a part of my job to respond to local house fires as well as large-scale disasters, um, giving clients assistance as far as casework, disaster assessment, anywhere that I'm needed. It gives me a sense of um, being helpful, even though sometimes in a way I feel helpless because some people's houses are burned down to the ground, some people lose family members due to the fire, they lose pets, sometimes they just lose everything, but it still gives the clients some comfort to be there on the scene to give that emotional support as well as support with uh, a place to stay, some food to eat, and some clothing. We didn't have the help of the Red Cross. There'd be folks out there um, with nowhere to go, nowhere to turn, and you want to be able to turn somewhere. And if you don't have the Red Cross to turn to, where do you go? When you've been a part of a fire or hurricane, you want to be able to have somewhere to turn to. So when they, when they show up, they feel like they have that sense of relief. I know that the Red Cross is going to be there and they're gonna help them through from day one to day end. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Claude Van III. I'm retired from the United States Army, as well as retired from Newport News Shipbuilding. The American Red Cross serves those who serve. We are there for deployed service members and their families to relay emergency messages, the joyful message of a child's birth, or urgent information concerning a loved one's illness. My father became very ill, and my son, who's deployed to Qatar, was 7,000 miles away. We wanted to get my son back for the funeral. I'm just uh, grateful that the Red Cross got the message to him. Uh, it eased the transition with his commanders that allowed him to get back here in time for the funeral. Time takes a while to comfort you when you lose a loved one. But I believe uh, as a result of him coming back and the Red Cross efforts to get him back, it helped to comfort me at a very difficult time. Every day, our blood donors prove that one person can make a difference. Every two seconds, someone needs blood and still only 5% of those who donate do donate. The Red Cross is absolutely an amazing organization. Without the Red Cross, there are so many people that just would be at a loss after a disaster. There would be so many people that wouldn't be around today because their neighbor didn't take CPR or first aid training. Every year, here in Eastern Virginia, we train thousands of people to become better neighbors, coworkers, and friends in life-saving skills such as CPR, AED, water safety, and first aid. You know, my first real involvement here locally and really being a part of the Red Cross was as we were preparing for Hurricane Sandy. There were all these people around everywhere willing to do everything from clean the bathrooms and take out the trash to figure out how we were going to get food out to those that were stranded by flooding or, or anything else. 
and the majority of them were volunteers. Organizations that would contact us and say, I want to help, and, and really jumping in. It, it, was, it was a great way for me to connect with all the business partners that I had had in the community for the last 10 years in a whole nother way and really just do our part and really feel like I was giving back to the community that had given me so much. 96% of the Red Cross staff are volunteers. Our volunteers lead the Red Cross in our community and take on every role from answering our phones, preparing and educating our community, and leading your American Red Cross. We are fortunate to have counted Stan Winarski amongst those volunteers. More than a donor, more than an instructor, volunteer, more than a supporter, Stan was the American Red Cross to his community.